The moment I actually started believing in the rapture, Luke 17, Jesus' disciples said, where are they going to go when he said one will be taken and the other one will be left? And Jesus said, wherever the vultures are gathered, vultures eat dead bodies. The first Thessalonians 4 is often confused with um, the uh, resurrection of the martyrs when the Lord comes back from heaven with uh, those who had died first believing in Christ and Jesus it says that he will resurrect them and then anybody else who's still alive would be taken into the clouds Revelation 20 talks about them those who were beheaded or martyred for their faith in God they came back to life first just like Paul said in 1 Thessalonians and they lived with Christ for a thousand years and they lived with Christ for a thousand years but look at it says verse 5 the rest of the dead did not live until the thousand years ended here's the martyrs again in Revelation 6 asking the Lord how much longer and this was after the economy was injured after um, creatures uh, the pale horse the writers uh, name was death killed people using wars famines plagues and wild animals on the earth and this was actually before the sixth seal and the asteroid both of the asteroids so the martyrs are told to sh just just rest a little longer until the other Christians who will be killed as you uh, are martyred as well. So that takes care of 1 Thessalonians 5 and the first resurrection of the martyrs. Now let's go back to Luke 17 and the vultures. Here Revelation 19 says, Come and gather for the great banquet of God. Eat the flesh of kings, generals, warriors, horses, and their riders. All the free people, slaves, both important or insignificant, that would be me. And the angel is, of course, crying out to the birds who eat flesh. This, ladies and gentlemen, means that we're all going to die, regardless whether you're martyred or killed by pandemics, wars, asteroids, or at the sound of the last very last trumpet after the martyr after the first resurrection of the martyrs when the lord comes back after almost everything in the book of revelation has taken place including the first two asteroids and demons coming up from the ground the martyrs will be resurrected first thessalonians 5 first the dead who believed in christ will come back to life First, the dead who believed in Christ will come back to life. That doesn't happen until uh, the end of the book of Revelation. The sound of the last trumpet call. Then, together with them, we who are still alive will be taken in the clouds to meet him. I guess all those terrible, wicked people who got left behind are going to be charged with going back to Jerusalem to rebuild the walls and the temple. According to Zechariah 14, when the Son of Man does return, when he does come back, there will be sacrifices again. How are they going to get saved?